You're live, it says. Hooray, I would hope I'm alive. All right, excellent. Scary, terrifying, and exciting, all at the same time. Okay. Hello, everybody. Thrill as I adjust my camera. Marvel as I wiggle my cap. All righty. Hello, everybody. Hi. Happy Yule. Hi, Clayton and Beth. Hello. Oh, hey, look. I know these people. Excellent. Marvelous. Hello. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> um, I am excited to be here, and uh, since it is seven on the dot, I think I'm going to waste a couple seconds while all y'all are logging in, and uh, I'm going to double check my angle. It turns out YouTube doesn't let me preview my thing before I go live, or maybe it does, but I don't actually know how to do it, because I'm a freshie out of the woods. Yay, look at all this love. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. I'm excited. Hey. Marvelous. Okay, well, uh, I'm going to noodle around a little bit, and uh, don't consider this part of the show. And if you do, I won't hold it against you. <laughs> Clayton, I appreciate that. in i think i can do the official hello welcome to the earl the bard very first live stream ever well live stream youtube uh concert thing that i'm doing for myself i've done live streams at other people's requests this is the first time i'm doing it because i felt like it so i'm putting myself out there and i'm doing stuff and it's exciting to see you because i've been running away and hiding in the woods for the last couple years and i'm happy to be out and playing the instrument again i'm gonna go ahead and uh, Tip this just a little bit so you get a bit of the Gertie in there. Anyways, uh, oh, look at this. Yay. Well, hey, hello to everybody who's popping in, even if it's just for a second. So it's good to see you. Thank you for being here. And uh, anyways, my intention with this is to just spread a little bit of merriment, cheers, and excitement, and uh, holiday spirit, as it were, for the Yuletide Festivus. Uh, <laughs> fire in the flames. Uh, you know, t tip me a hundred and we'll see. <laughs> Anyways, yes, I'm going to be playing some music, maybe some holiday music, except, uh, you know, the, this month has been very busy, so I haven't exactly, you know, practiced or anything. So we'll see how that goes. I've got some that maybe is floating around in the back of my head. The rest of it's probably just going to be good old classic Earl of the Bard fair shenanigans with a tree in the background. So uh, thank you for joining me. And without further ado, I'm going to stop talking and make a little noise for you. <laughs> Thank you. 
card. Thank you, adoring public out there in the internet. I'm sure you're all screaming it. I just can't hear you. Also, I've seen your comments coming on through here. Uh, I definitely forgot to say, and definitely forgot to prepare, a nice little link for donations. Um, aww. I'm gonna get so distracted by this live chat. Like, I just wanna know how everybody's doing because, oh my god, I miss everybody. So, uh, anyways, one thing at a time, Roll the Bard. One thing at a time. Okay, so, um, donations. If you like what you hear, and if you don't, but you want to support me so I'll get better, yay. Uh, anyways, um, paypal.me slash Earl the Bard. So, uh, there should be a uh, link in the description. If you can find the description on this video, I tried to include it for easy clickability. Uh, and yeah, it's a direct link to my PayPal account, which works like a tip box. Just put however many virtual monies in there that you want to shower me with, and it'll be wonderful and marvelous. It's all going to a new fund to help me move to a bigger place that actually will have a workshop as well as recording space and is going to be so much brighter and better for my crafts and my art and I'm really excited and I need to be able to afford to move so um, that's mostly what uh, the, the funds are all going to be going towards is get kickstarting that fun new project and uh, chapter in my life so I might say a little bit more about that in a little bit but I'm gonna jump back on uh, into the music because that's what y'all came here for right? So, uh, anyways, that last song, you might have recognized it. It was Top of the Charts in 1538, uh, Der Fugel und Tanz, and uh, traditional German folk dance, that. Uh, <laughs> um, now, I'm going to play something a little bit more mystical. Because I have decided it to be so. I don't, uh, don't have many good Mystic Forest songs, but of the Mystic Forest songs I do have, this is one of them. <laughs> Gracious me. It's very loud in here. 
I'm used to playing the hurdy gurdy outside in festivals, you know, so it's like it has room to disperse, but I'm in this tiny little wooden box and it's just resonating. Like, man, I feel like a true rock star. I need to like have earplugs so I don't go deaf from rocking out too hard. Anyways, marvelous, marvelous. Nice start, nice start. Thank you for noticing this wonderful and beautiful mug. Festival favorite. Whoa. <laughs> All right. Anyways, uh, chugging right along, I feel like uh, maybe I'll try my hand at a little Krimbus tune real fast and see how it goes. This was actually the very first song I ever learned to play on the Hurdy Gurdy back when I was a wee baby bard making terrible, terrible noises in the park. <laughs> guys a holiday song oh look at you guys you're leaving such sweet comments it's so neat i love to see everything that you guys are saying you're gonna like look at my little stretched kitten faces i'm like what's that what's that oh. a wee baby bard sounds heckin adorable yes it does <laughs> Oh, Quinn and Bloom are here. Hello, it's good to see you, but I can't see you. It's nice that you're here. Thank you for joining, and I'm happy to be in your magical little house. Yes. Oh. Hmm. Yay, yay, yay. It's happy to see everybody here. So thank you. Thank you so much for filling the chat. Like I said, I'm going to keep getting distracted by it moving over here. I like want to be able to do both at the same time, but it's my first go, so I'm going to be a little distracted. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I had an idea for a song to play, but I can't think of it, so you guys get this one instead. It's a song about pirates. <laughs> Thank you. 
There it is. Sorry, it's been a while. There once was a crew and a pirate. They thought of a new how to sail. It was ship and dry, crossing over sight. But they still could sing, sing a ling a ling. But they didn't know how a ship could go. Oh. Would sing, sing a ling 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 You don't know how to do anything. Hooray! <laughs> oh. It is well felt. I appreciate it. It's gotta be like, I don't know. Oh, it looks like people can do emojis. You can probably do that. If you want to clog up the chat, you know? <laughs> Anyways, I uh, first did that song all the way back in August, so many years ago. Uh, at the Washington Midsummer Renaissance Fair. It went over really well, and it's exciting. It's actually from a book I found. Uh, no, it was actually a gift for a birthday a couple years ago. That's a, a musical textbook for children from the, like, 1930s or something. And it's got, like, the Song of the Goblins, and uh, I think there's, like, a, a centaur's dance or something. So there's some fun, magical stuff in there. I've got to go back and learn. But they had that little ditty about the pirates, and it's only got the two verses, and I so funny i feel like i need to write a couple more so you know keep your ears peeled next festival season i might have worked that up a little bit better polished it up and uh, written a new verse or two for that one so that'd be fun uh yeah anyways if you can think of fun jobs to do on a pirate ship that you can easily mess up put them in the comments because i need help i don't know but enough about boats to make that on my own <laughs> Thank you. 
distracted by the chats in that last one. <laughs> jig that I just recently learned called To Banish Misfortune. And uh, it's a very, very appropriate song for this time of the year, you know? It's cold, it's wet, it's sad, but uh, yeah, that song's been kind of getting me through, so I appreciate it. Some weird things happening on in the chat. Anyways, hi, how's everybody doing? So good? Can you hear me? Like, I know I'm just playing for myself over here, but like, as long as you guys are enjoying it, it looks like you're doing okay. <laughs> Sorry about present company. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm looking here at this beautiful picture of myself, so I'm very distracted. It's a lot of bright, moving <laughs> pictures here. <laughs> like, I'm on the screen, I'm, nothing else exists. Have, have I dug myself successfully into this hole? I think so. Anyways. <laughs> I am on the Windows, nobody can see. Oh, wait. <laughs> Marvelous. Anyways, hi. Hello. I'm still here. Not here, but here. <laughs> Let's find something fun that else might be to play again.
<laughs> Yay! I like that one. It's a fun little mashup. Two songs for one in there. Two wonderful little Renaissance tunes that go very well together. A song called The Parson's Farewell and a song called Goddesses. So, wonderful, fun, beautiful, magical. Also just a lot of fun to play. It's so, a big criteria for the thing, things that I learned. It's like, it's going to be fun. Anyways. Here's Wonderwall. No. Hey, applause! Someone figured it out. Hooray! <laughs> figured it out. Anyways, I seriously, I'm, I'm, I'm playing for time. I have no idea what next song I'm gonna do. Is I had an idea, but I usually like halfway through a song, know what I'm gonna do next, and then by the end of the song, there's like a fifty-fifty if I actually remember what I'm, what I was gonna do. So, uh, anyways. I'm going to noodle around until I figure it out. such thing as a fade out on a hurdy gurdy. <laughs> All right. Looks like I've had a couple requests come in and I was about to see, I saw the first one and I was like, ask and you shall receive. But then I saw the second one and I'm like, Ugh, maybe, uh, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. I can definitely do the first one. So I will. I was going to work up some intro to that, but now I'm just like completely flummoxed. I feel like I should probably know what the second song recommended is, but I don't because I'm not much of a Christmas person usually. 
This is the first year in a long, long time that I've actually been not a total Grinch about it. And it's exciting. I think it's been like long enough removed from my retail experience that like the like little bit of Christmas cheer is kind of like popped back out of its little hedgehog. Is that what Hedgehog Day is about? That's not a thing, is it? All right, I'm sticking to what I know. You don't know what you just requested. I'll get to you in a second, Kindred192. cheering and applause through the ether. <laughs> it's a very, very holiday appropriate song. There's a Christmas special, don't you know? I'm told it's quite canon. Oh, Darth's heart grew three sizes that day. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> All right. Okay. I just saw somebody request the forbidden song back there just a little bit ago. So uh, let's take a little looky loo and see what here I can do. All right, free bird. Here you go. All right, just a, a, a preface for this. Remember, if you like what you hear, uh, I'm collecting tips and donations at my PayPal link in the description. PayPal.me/slash Earl the Bard. So you know. Uh, just... <laughs> Once upon a time, I was given a free bird, and I didn't pay anything for that free bird. So I guess that you could say that bird was free for me, because it was a free bird. Free bird, free bird, I'm grateful for my free bird. Free bird, free bird. You can't take my free bird from me. And so I took my free bird and I let him go free. Because it came to no place for a little bird. How could a free bird really truly be free? If that free bird was not flying free. So I took that 
came to the throw it out the window, but I remember you opened the door first, because otherwise it would have been really bad. So my free bird flew right out of that cage, and now he's soaring, he's flying, and he's free. Free bird, free bird, free, free bird, that's my free, 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 free bird. And then there's the solo. That usually goes on for about 45 extra minutes, but I'm just gonna cut it short here for the sake of the live stream. Anyways, free bird, you're welcome. You did this to yourself, Kindred192. <laughs> no, in all seriousness, that is one of my favorite recommendations. I definitely stole that joke that is not mine. I do tip my feathered cap to Jason Webley who introduced me to ripping the heck out of a free bird song. Because as a musician, you need some way to survive it. Anyways, um, I don't know. Let's play something else. Let's play something spooky. Spooky's nice. I like spooky. <laughs> Wait, okay, no. Do you want a spooky song about a troll? It's in Swedish. Or do you want a uh, comedic and very, well, not very, but pretty inappropriate song about uh, a German clock winder? No, it's purely, it's it, any innuendos in that are, it's, it's all about clocks. It's all clocks. So if you hear innuendos, that's on you, not me. Okay, somebody vote. Uh, uh, uh. Bloom has semi-officially semi committed themselves to singing Freebird with you at fair next summer. Yay! The original or the, the Earl's Bard version? Clocks! All right. We got one vote for clocks. I'm going to time it for the next, like, two and a half seconds. Comedic and inappropriate for sure. Clocks. All right, great. That's three votes. I'm, call I'm calling it. Nobody wants spooky trolls. Not right now. Clocks all the way. Okay, just to reiterate, this song is entirely about timekeeping devices. Any innuendos you hear is not my problem. A German clock winder to Darwin once came. Engelbert Fuchs was the old German's name. As he was winding his way along the strand, he played on the banjo and the music was grand. Singing tro la 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 a woman came out of Fitzwilliam Square. She said her old clock was in need of repair. She invited him in, and to her delight, in less than five minutes he had her clock right. Singing la 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 they sat down together just taking stock When all of a sudden there came a loud knock In walked her husband, oh lord what a shock To see the old German wind up his wife's clock Singing to la 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 from the husband he said to his wife Mary Ann Well don't let me catch that dear German again He wound up your clock and left me on the shelf if your old clock needs winding, sure I'll wind it myself. <laughs> I 
I actually had somebody get mad at me at a Ren Fair once upon a time for playing that song. It's really funny. Like, I, I guess I shouldn't laugh because everybody's sensibilities are a little bit different. But I actually had somebody who took offense and sent me a Facebook message later on to tell me that they had gotten offended. And I, it's funny. I, I never really considered it as something that someone get, would get offense, uh, offended by before. And so it just kind of like opened my eyes. And I started listening to like all the other songs I sing. And I'm like, wow, Ren Fairs are filthy. Oh, no. <laughs> Quick, nobody tell Earl the Bard. Oh, jeez. Hmm. Oh. Well, hi, Lily and the Harper. Sorry that YouTube is dumb, but thank you for joining us. It's really nice to, uh, you know, have more people. And uh, hopefully it's not too tragic for you. <laughs> All righty. Well, uh, let's see. I just had somebody remind me that, yes, this is a... a holiday concert and I should probably be trying to remember holiday music <laughs> yeah you know I tell you I gotta decide to do these things more than a week in advance because five days is not enough time for an Earl the Bard to prepare <laughs> to remember it. Not very well. <laughs> <laughs> You. I've got some holiday songs locked away up here in the old subconscious. So, uh, one nice thing about Christmas music is they're they're always there. He sees you when you're sleeping. He sees you when you're sleeping. Oh God. <laughs> um. Yeah. I don't know. Anyways. Oh. I don't know. That one's that one's got some serious leaps. Uh, all right. <laughs> that's that's it. That's pretty cool. So thank you. <laughs> Seriously, I'm really grateful for everybody who's tuning in because this is, like I said, definitely a last minute decision to do. And uh, you know, in true Earl the Bard fashion, I always feel underprepared for everything. So 
I'm just very happy that everybody's here spending a little time listening to goofy old me do goofy old things. So, you know? <laughs> so that's it. No joke. I'm just grateful. Thank you. Hmm. Actually, I've got a Christmas song in mind, and I've been waiting to do it because I want to try and do something very new and interesting. So bear with me. Are you guys up for experimenting? I'm going to assume that was a resounding yes, because you know, everybody, everybody's into experimenting when it comes to an Earl Bard show. I just decided that for you. Check this out, you guys. I have been hard at work. Now, people who've been to the Washington Midsummer Fair have seen this already, but people who have not been to the Washington Midsummer Renaissance Fair is going to have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about. But I have been working on something very exciting and interesting lately that is based on historical drawings of street musicians with hurdy-gurdies. Can you help lower that down to the ground, pretty please? Just down to the floor yeah. level. How oh, just that oh, it. Then. This is going to be a, a little... It's all Puccinella little show. Puccinella special. Ciao a tutti! Io sono Puccinella! <laughs> So, historical drawings of Renaissance Fair performers, and uh, also, uh, you know, some Victorian era too, show hurdy-gurdy players with a little puppet tied to their foot. And so, as they dance and make music, so too does the puppet dance. And uh, he's been really, really excited to show his face to the world, and uh, he's looking for his YouTube debut here. Anyways, I also wanted to just kind of show him off a little bit. Let's see if we can uh, get a nice little, nice little dance featuring Portinella the puppet. Fix the lighting just a little bit. Please admire my little bejingled peats. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. Just a fun little dancing little guy that I'm very, very excited to show off and share that I've been working very hard on making little dancing puppets like this, and I've actually created a new page on my website. Yay! So if you go to earlthebard.com slash woodshop, uh, I've got a couple little examples of these puppets that I'm making, and uh, I'm going to be selling them. And part of the funds for your tips and donations on this evening will... Uh, actually be going to help me fund, oh, sorry about this lighting here. <laughs> we went puppet vision and now we're going back to Earl the Bard vision. Anyways, uh, the uh, tips and donations from tonight's performance are helping with moving expenses as well as uh, acquiring the tools for a, uh, a streamlined puppet making process so I can actually offer these little guys because I have so much fun and everybody at the Ren Fair really, really liked them. And, uh, it's, it's an exciting new little hobby project for me that I'm excited to finally talk about. I've been doing it for a couple months, and uh, it's really exciting to actually like be able to have enough of a confidence to be able to start talking about them again. So anyways, thank you for letting me interrupt my own show with my own interests. Huzzah. <laughs> Good job, Puccinella. I think there's some mulled wine somewhere if you want to go find it. It's kind of a lout, that one. Let's tip this back up just a little bit because I feel like I'm decapitated. A little too much. Anyways, 
There we go. Awesome. Well, thanks for that little, uh, well, you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. <laughs> I, I obviously did not think through the whole moving the camera business. So anyways, that's what first, uh, first time live streams are all about. So anyways, hooray, I'm going to play more music. <laughs> oh, Quinn and Bloom, your message is so sweet. a very very sad song that I omitted the words to and added a sweet solo into the middle of it. So it's not so sad. I like taking sad songs and hurdy gurdy finding them where all of a sudden they become like loud and raucous dancing music. There's one uh, written contemporary to Shakespeare's day. Uh, might have actually written about this song in something. It's called Fortune My Foe and it's this very long sad uh, poem belly aching about how someone doesn't love him but I love to uh, sing that one and then like play it way fast tempo and then like have everybody dance and I'm like it's the Ren Fair Goth Club y'all uh, because that's my sense of humor anyways here's that song <laughs> Nope. 
I can't remember it, so you don't get it. You just got to sit there and wonder, what is it? Or Google it, because I just told you what it was called. Whichever. There it is. Don't worry about it. Too mysterious for you. Excellent. All right. Well, how's everybody doing? We're hitting like right about the hour mark. I think I said originally about an hour or so. So, I mean, like if you're still feeling it, I can keep going. If not, we can just kind of put a little bow on it and I can, you know, maybe play one more song just to wrap it all up. Got any votes in the comments? I'll uh, noodle a little something. Here, while that's going on. <laughs> We're having a great time listening. Yay! Hooray! Okay, well, I mean, like, if y'all are having fun, I'm having a great time. Encore! Hooray! Okay. Two votes from the same Heather, but that's exciting, and I will definitely take them as two different votes. Alrighty. Okay, great. More people are chiming in, which is great, because Heather definitely spoke for everybody in this chat, so deal with it. Okay, one more. One more. Yay. Oh, most favorite tune? Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Don't do that to me. I don't know songs. As soon as you, like, if you're, if you're like, you know, here, Earl the Bard, go play in front of these people. I'm like, okay, I'll do that. But as soon as someone's like, Earl the Bard, play us a song. I'm like, uh, uh. Huh, 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 huh. I don't know songs. Okay, anyways, uh, that said, I know exactly what I'm gonna say for you. Ooh, okay, actually. This one's kind of a tie. I think I'm gonna play one, and I've got two that are my like probably my favorite, but I'm gonna play one because I haven't played it as much, so that means it's exciting again. So I'm gonna do this one. This one is a, a wonderful old beggar's song that, uh, again, actually, there's a version, the original form of this song started off sometime back around Shakespeare's time. There's a, a play mentioned with uh, this song, or I think it actually comes from a play, and it's shifted and evolved into a folk song that has now become this marvelous minor ballad about the joys of being a beggar, and there's just something very fun about singing about the joys of begging when you're on the sides of a Ren fair street corner begging. So here we go. Well, of all the trains in England, a begging is the best. For when a beggar's tired, you can lay him down to rest. And the begging I will go, a begging I will go. 
a begging I will go, a begging I will go. Got a pocket for me up here and another for me right. I've got a bottle by my side to drink when I am dry. And a begging I will go, a begging I will go, and a begging I will go, a begging I will go. Everything's fine, don't worry, nobody can. I don't remember where I was, I know I just started this one, but that's okay, cause you don't know any of the other persons. And a begging I will go, a begging I will go, and a begging I will go, a begging I will go. Got a pocket for me meal and another for me salt, got a little pair of crutches, you should see how I can hold. And a begging I will go, a begging I will go, and a begging I will go, a begging I will go. on me dusty coat and a black patch on my knee but when it comes to tuppany ale i'll drink as well as tea and a begging i will go a begging i will go and a begging i will go a begging i will go well i've been blind to calgary and i've been deaf at shaw there's many a right and willing lass i bet it in the straw and a begging i will go Plots against me, and I am free from care. As long as I've my belly full, oh, my backs I can go there. And a begging I will go, a begging I will go, and a begging I will go, a begging I will go. Beneath a hollow tree, and there I pay no rent. While Providence provides for me, and I am well content. And a begging I will go, a begging I will go, and a begging I will go, a begging I will go. I fear the plots against me, I live in open cell. Now, who would be a king when a beggar lives so well? And a begging I will go. Trades in England, the begging is the best. For when a beggar's tired, you can lay them down to rest. And a begging I will go, a begging I will go, and a begging I will go, a begging I will go, and a begging I will go, a begging I will go. Yay! I like that one. I've also included a couple extra lines in that one that I don't usually do when I'm out busking at fair, so that's fun. A couple lines that are, are new or, you know, the one raunchy one I accidentally forgot I was singing until I was already too late to stop it. So, uh, <laughs> anyways. Uh, yeah, so anyways, thank you for letting me share that one with you. And thank you, Quinn and Bloom, for requesting a dealer's choice. 
I mean, I guess it's my live stream. It's all dealer's choice, but anyways, it feels more special when you're asking me to choose, you know? Anyways, uh, I need to find some patter to say to fill time that's not anyways, because I keep saying that. Wrist jingly applause, yay! I got ankle jinglies. <laughs> Ooh, I had another idea for a song to do. Ain't that the way? Always forget it. I'll play it and then uh, uh, something else, and then halfway through that, I'll I'll definitely remember uh, what the heck I was doing on that one. Let's do let's do a cheery song about drowning. Oh, always a great showman. Love hearing your voice in the green. Oh, thank you, Kitty. That's so sweet. Oh, this is very very kind. Just like seeing all these loves and comments is so nice. I've been in the woods for so long. Oh God. <laughs> Okay, so this is a good old Ren Faire classic and also the cheeriest song about drowning that I happen to know because Christmas. Was Christmas morn when we first set sail and we had not gone far from the land when our captain he spied a lovely mermaid with a comb and a glass in her hand. Oh, the ocean waves will roll and the stormy winds will blow. Oh, while we poor sailors go skipping across the top and the land, land lovers lie down below, 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 while the land lovers lie down below. Got distracted by the chat again. <laughs> Then up spoke the captain of our gallant ship, and a well-spoken man was he. I have me a wife in Salem by the sea, but tonight she a widow will be. Oh, the ocean waves will roll, and the stormy winds will blow. Oh, while you poor sailors go skipping across the top, and the land lovers lie down below, 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 while the land lovers lie down below. Then up spoke the cookie of our gallant ship, and a red hot cookie was he. Well, I care much more for me tots and me pants than I does for the bottom of the sea. And the ocean waves will roll, and the stormy winds will blow. For oh, 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 while we poor sailors go skipping across the top, and the land lovers lie down below, 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 while the land lovers lie down below. Then up spoke the cabin boy of our gallant ship, and the happy little lad was he. Well, I don't quite know if I can spell my name, but I'm going to the bottom of the sea. For the ocean winds will roll, and the stormy winds will blow. Oh, I'll be four sailors, so tipping across the top, and the land lovers lie down below, 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 and the land lovers lie down below. Well, three times round went our gallant ship, and three times around went she. Well, three times round went our gallant ship, as she sunk into the bottom of the sea. Oh, the ocean waves will roll, and the stormy winds will blow. Oh, well, we poor sailors go skipping across the top, and the land lovers lie down below, 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 while the land lovers lie down below. Oh, the ocean waves will roll, and the stormy winds will blow. Oh, well, we poor sailors go skipping across the top, and the land lovers lie down below, 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 while the land lovers lie down below. Yay! Woo. <laughs> I love that one. Oh, sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. A little bit ago, I had a little request. First off, I had a little request, first and foremost, to uh, 
bring the puppet back up. I know this is a little bit ago, and you already said that you could rewind and see. But anyways, just for a little bit of extra, nice and up close and personal. Oh, face the light, Portunella. Oh, oh, bellissimo. <laughs> so he's got a little wooden body in here. He's got uh, he's got hardware joints, which allows a little bit more movement than a wooden joint, so that way he can actually wear the clothing. And uh, he's dressed in the style of a an Italian Renaissance Commedia dell'arte character, Puccinella. And so he's perfect for me at the the Ren Fair because he's a uh, uh, you know a, a lover of good wine, good food, and good times. And so am I at the Ren Fair. So, <laughs> anyways, I hope you can kind of get a chance to see him. So he's uh, based on a marionette à la planchette uh, style. My forgive everybody who speaks French out there. Or, uh, forgive me, please, everybody who speaks French out there, because I know it's bad. Anyways, yeah, historical little style there. But I've got some other fun ones that I've been working on, just in case anybody else is curious. I've got the little Limberjack style, which is uh, still used a lot in, like, Appalachian crafts. Appalachian? Yeah, I want someone to throw an apple at you. But anyways, there's this cute little guy here, and uh, he's... All wood construction. He's very flexible, hence the limber jack name. But yeah, he's controlled with a rod, and he's great for playing. Unfortunately, I can't do music and him at the same time, but he's a uh, wonderful little, little simple and easy guy. Sounds great on wood. He's got a nice resonant foot with his hardwood, you know. Ta-da! So this is one of the little styles that you will be able to purchase. Oh, jeez, he's showing off. Look at that. I was just trying to have him sit down, but ta-da! <laughs> Anyways, yeah, it's one of the uh, little puppets that I'm offering over on my website, earldebard.com slash woodshop. And then this little version, I'm calling Dirty Dan, because he gets he likes to put his hips into it. <laughs> and uh, this little guy here is really special. So he's a, a one-string marionette, and he can be suspended from the leg, kind of like how Puccinella was. But this one I've really designed to be done by the hand. So that way you can wrap them around a couple times. Ideally, this would be a little longer, but the string broke like right before this. So <laughs> unfortunate. But you can see here that, uh, let me get the dance floor back up here. Ta -da! So for here, his little dance floor, he's got joints at the ankles and those uh, elbow joints, they don't move, but they kind of just give a little bit of a, a better arm movement. The other limber jack, the arms have a tendency to stay at the sides, but this guy's got a little bit more of a boogie windmill kind of going. You can see him pumping those arms. And the fun thing is because he's on the string, you could actually have uh, like a guitar or any other strummed instrument. And when you strum with one hand, you can dance around. He's a little ecstatic, but that's just the way he likes it. And so I've got a couple different options with a couple different manipulation styles but that are fun for musicians or just puppet enthusiasts. Anyways, I just uh, saw a little request to see the puppets and had a in-person request to see a couple more of them. So anyways, just enjoying sharing the fruits of my hard labors over these last several months coming up with these little puppet designs. There's pictures you can find, but I kind of did all the maths myself. It's just been fun. So anyways, thank you for going on this little adventure with me as I'm sharing my, my arts and my craft, you know? I've always been such a, you know, only creating auditory art, and now it's exciting to have something tangible that you can actually put in your hands. So, anyways, if you're interested, you can find more earldebard.com slash woodshop, just one word. Um, and, again, as a reminder, if uh, you're interested in tipping and you have not done yet, uh, there's a link in the description for... Um, tips if you want to leave a tip for my efforts here. Efforts is a very strong word. My <laughs> charming and adorable personality gracing your Yuletide festivities. <laughs> Yay! Oh, well, thank you. Thank you very much. It's scary sharing, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be well received, and thank you for being such a wonderful audience here in the chats, seeing all of the applause and the drinks and the, the starry eyes. It's very, very, very heartwarming for this little bard. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. Does anybody remember Invader Zim? I mean, we all remember it, but do we like actually talk about it anymore? 
Anyways, you can tell I'm getting nervous. If I'm resorting to Invader Zim quotes in the middle of my set. Well, okay, I, uh, I'll get back into the music. I've got probably an, a couple more songs left in me before I uh, depart for the evening at a reasonable hour. Because we're old and at bedtimes now. Uh, anyways, uh, thanks. You want to hear uh, something spooky or uh, something in Swedish? They're both in Swedish. I had two songs. They're in Swedish. You get something in Swedish, that's what you get. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit. See if I can remember it now that I, uh, spooky? Okay, good. Because I actually can't remember the other Swedish one I was going to do. They're both in Swedish, so I'm fine. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Okay, changed my mind. I'm not doing Swedish. I'm doing an English one, because if I'm going to do something spooky, I want you to hear it. Sorry. I got all frazzled by stopping playing. My hands don't know what they're doing anymore. Oh, 
something to die Come a little closer to me, darling. Oh. Yay! Spooky murder ballads. Woo! Hey. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. I see that people are leaving. I don't know if you're still here, but I miss you. I love you. Thank you for joining me. Oh, it's been so good. Squish, squish. <laughs> uh, cheers to everybody. Huzzah! <laughs> There's a good, good little toast. There are good ships and wood ships and ships that sail the sea, but the best ship is friendship, and may that always be. Cheers, everybody. Hooray! Okay. Well, how about we end with a, a drinking dirge, and then uh, call this first Earl the Bard Hurdy Gurdy live stream concert a roaring success. All right. Oh no, it looks like someone's wrapping presents. Oops. Well, sorry to cut your playlist short, but anyways, let's uh, let's get one more in there and then. Uh, and on a nice cheery note of drinking dirges. Huzzah! 
Yay! Drinking! It's for some people. Anyways, thank you so, 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 so very much for joining me here on this very first Earl the Bard live stream. Uh, it was a lot of fun and actually surprisingly easy and very, very, so much more easy with all of your wonderful help and support. I see all of these loving comments coming on through and it's really, really exciting because I, now I know I'm not, t you know, playing to a brick wall. It's very nice. It's, uh, you know, almost as good as seeing your beautiful faces in person, but until then, you can always, uh, I think, you can always come back and rewatch this if you need a little bit more merriment and uh, hurdy-gurdy holidays in your, your life. Um, so, yeah, thanks for joining me, and hopefully I'll be doing another one of these soon. And uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. If uh, there's new people joining us, there is a PayPal link in the description for tips and donations if you like what you heard. I accept all uh, gratuity in the form of flattery and uh, also all compliments in the form of... Uh, well, actually, this joke works better at, uh, in real life because I was going to say comment, uh, complaints go on the back of a $5 bill in the tip box, but you can't do that on uh, PayPal. That would just be sad. I would just get, like, a tip and a hateful comment. Oh, no. I'm not actually emotionally prepared that. Forget. I've erased the last 30 seconds of this. Live, live streaming. Huh. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm Earl the Bard. This has been an absolute pleasure. Huzzah to everybody here. Blessed Yule. Happy holidays, whatever you celebrate. Oh. Thank you so much. Huh? What? Huh? Whoa, cool. That's exciting. Yay. Anyways, uh, sorry, something happened and my, my brain was like in a full on roll and it just <laughs> shut down. So anyways, that's the joy of live stream is because now that can stay in there. <laughs> anyways, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Blessed you all to all and to all a good night. Hey. <laughs>